All right, Andrew, our other top story tonight, tragedy as a crash kills a four-year-old boy. Yeah, it happened at 11 last night at the intersection of Little Mac and Masonic in Roseville. Our Rod Maloney spoke to police who believe one of the drivers was under the influence. Little Mac and Masonic here is a busy intersection, but it's not Roseville's busiest. But last night about 11 o'clock, this intersection turned deadly. This is a quick glance of the scene last night, video provided by Kerry Arendt. The car happened to be crunched into the pole, um, and the other car was T-boned to the back of it. Here is the white Mercury Milan, driven by a 21-year-old father of two from Warren. It sits in the Roseville DPW yard tonight, badly damaged on the rear passenger side. A four-year-old baby boy sat in his child safety seat, buckled in, and yet he died in the crash. They pronounced him dead at the hospital. The three-year-old sister also sat in her safety seat. She went to the hospital as well. Tonight, she's listed in stable condition. Carrie is still shaken by the scene. It's devastating because I have an eight-year-old myself, so I definitely feel for those parents being a mom um, on my own terms. But, I mean, anyone that's lost a child in this life kind of understands it. This is the other vehicle in the crash, a 2011 black GMC Yukon driven by a 34-year-old Detroit man. There is damage to the right front quarter. Deputy Roseville Police Chief Donald Glandon tells Local 4 officers at the scene believed him, the driver of that vehicle, to be driving drunk. Got a blood draw. We're awaiting the results of not only the lab results from that blood draw, but the ongoing investigation to uh, make a determination what charges uh, he may be facing. There are conflicting accounts who ran the red light and Roseville Police are continuing their investigation. There were no video cameras at the intersection, and they're asking anybody who might have been in the area at that time to call police if they have anything to add to this. Right now they have one eyewitness they believe might have something to add, but they say they need more help.